Hi there. Uh, some of you are having some minor problems with um, the registration process or logging into our new or my new um, members only area in my blog um, to access your online classrooms for the online classes you've signed up for. Um, I think the main problem is that uh, some of you think that they can use their old password and username um, the one they got up on sign up for the class um, for the new system but that doesn't work so you will have to um, go through the registration process again um, only once of course uh, and I'm really sorry for this uh, <laughs> inconvenience but um, I think in the end it will be so much so much better and you can access all of your classes um, in one place without um, all the logging in, logging out, password changing. So um, yeah, I will just give you a quick tour um, on how to do this um, because sometimes in, you know in a video it's easier to explain <laughs> than uh, just writing it. Um, yeah, this video I'm just taping it with my iPad so um, the quality will be not very good <laughs> and I'm just holding it in my hand so it will be shaking a lot uh, but um, yeah in the end I don't think the quality of this video is that important <laughs> what's um, important is that it will help you to go through the registration process and to be able to access your online classes your online classrooms and um, yeah if you haven't signed up for any of my classes you might want to do this to, to um, access the um, free classes. Okay, let's get so, started. So um, this is uh, the landing page of my blog and the first thing you have to do and of course you only have to do this once you have to create an account uh, to access um, the members only area um, in my blog. So the first thing you want to do is scroll down and here in the right sidebar you can find this place online class login for students okay so the very first thing you have to do is click on register down here okay so this will lead you to this um, page where you can create your account okay so you will have to type in a username i will just uh, go through the whole my gosh what one registration process with you so i will just um create a fake account now which I will delete later. So a username, let's say username um, uh, whatever um, honey bee. Okay so the next thing you will have to enter your email address. Let's just use enter your email address here make sure you enter a valid email address because you will receive a confirmation on this um, okay you will choose a password um, let's see and confirm the password then you have um, a security question this is just to avoid um, avoid spam so obviously the answer is nine um, you have to enter your first name and your last name over here. Um, it's important that you enter your real first and last name here <laughs> uh, because um, this way I can um, later confirm that you've signed up for my classes and I can add you to the groups accordingly. So let's say, oopsie. And you just enter your city and your country. And um, you enter your email address again over here. And then you can just check on this box if you are um, one of my <coughs> online class students yet. Let's say yes. And then you just click on complete sign up down here. Okay, so check your email to activate your account. 
So we are going to check our email now. Okay, then you will get this um, email. Thanks for registering. To complete the activation of your account, please click the follow link. And you're going to click on this link. And your account is activated. Okay, so you only have to go through this registration process once. So don't worry, that was the hardest part already. So now that you have um, created your account and um, activated it, you can do the following thing. You go back to the main page of my blog and again in the right side you can find this box and then you will just add your username you just registered with honey oops it's difficult to film and type <laughs> i'm so sorry honeybee and um, the password so um and then you can just log in all right and then you are logged in it shows you your name and that you're logged in okay so once you have logged in you can go to classrooms up here see it's in the top menu classrooms I'm sorry this video is shaking terribly but, um, well hope it helps you <laughs> And um, yeah, once you clicked on classrooms, you will land on this page where you can see all the groups slash classrooms available. There, first of all, there is this free area where I will post free classes, free tutorials in the future. So you might want to press the join group button over here. Okay, so you're a member of this classroom now. And then you just um, look for the classes you signed up for already. Let's say you signed up for the Fascinating Girls class volume one. Okay, so you only have to do this once as well. You click on request membership over here. See, click on request membership. And then it says membership requested. Then I will compare your name um, to my list of online class students and um, yeah, then I will just approve your membership. Okay, and once I have um, approved you for the group, again in the future you can always access your classes by clicking on this classroom tab, tab up here in the menu. And um, yeah, once I have approved you for the class, room and you can just on this page you can see over here that you are a member of the group because it says leave group um, you can just click on the classroom just click on the name et voila you are in and you can access all the, the different weeks all the class materials all the videos so yeah, it's that easy actually. <laughs> and you can go back, switch to other classrooms. So that's a good thing. Once you are registered and you um, edit yourself to your classrooms, you can access all of them in one place without logging in and logging out to different classrooms. So it makes it a lot easier on the long run in the end. Okay, so I hope this little tutorial helped you a little bit, <laughs> even though it was shaking. Um, yeah, oh yeah, maybe another thing. There are also, there's a shortcut over here in the right side, in the sidebar. And if you're logged in, like I am right now with my test account, you can also access the different online classes um, right here. And um, for example, this one where you are a member of, it will bring you to the classroom page right away. Okay, let's go back. Oh, where's my mouse? Oh, there. <laughs> um, and if you just click on a link to a class um, you are not a member of, 
course, you will just see this request membership. Okay, so I hope this makes it a little easier for you to go through this. Again, um, the whole registration process um, in the beginning is kind of a little bit of a hassle. I'm sorry for that. Um, but in the end, once you did that, once you joined your classrooms, once you are logged in, you can access um, the member area very easily um, each and every time you visit my blog and you want to visit your classrooms. And um, again, if you are not signed up for my classes, um, you will find some free tutorials um, in this free group over here. And I'm gonna add fun stuff in here in the future. Already have some nice, nice things in the planning. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope this little video helped a little bit. If you still have any questions, um, just drop me a line. Um, you can um, go here in the contact field and write me an email or just leave a comment here. So um, which way ever, <laughs> just contact me and I will gladly help you out and try to solve your problems.